question it says are you happy with your results do you want more work done love you girl i love you too boo and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm not gonna lie <laughs> welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this video so today we're gonna get into a sip and spill girl I'm gonna call y'all homegirls okay so one of my homegirls hit me up on Twitter and she was like Kyra you need to start a sip and spill and I'm like oh my god girl you is so right that I love that so shout out to her because this would not be happening without her baby so shout out to her her twitter will be on the screen she hit me in the twitter dm and send me video recommendations all the time y'all i look at my dms i'm very active so yeah so let me know so i wanted to start this little series so we're gonna start it off with a bbl edition q a because I haven't really touched base with y'all about my BBL and it's coming up to a year, girl. It's coming up to a year. It went so fast. She's an ex gay mode. She's an ex gay mode. Shout out to my doctor because he did that. He understood the assignment, period. Okay. So if you want to get the tea on my BBL experience and recovery, everything, my ups and downs, just keep on watching. Now, before we even get into the q and I want to apply my Tammy Overnight Sleep Mask Hydration Treatment because, girl, honestly, after this, I'm going to sleep. I'm laying it down. So I, I want to get prepared to go to bed. So I'm going to apply my Overnight Sleep Mask, and this has two main ingredients that I use in my daily skincare routine already. Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid. I don't know if y'all know what Niacinamide does, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It promotes collagen in your skin, making your skin look very youthful and glowy. And it also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is going to basically hydrate your skin. I love a good glow, okay? And this also does have in here vitamin C, which is going to even out your skin tone. I love vitamin C. It's my best friend because I really love a good even skin tone. This also has butterfly tea in here, which is going to help rejuvenate your skin. Love a glow and I do not play when it comes to my skincare, okay? So this is basically like my glow maintenance to help my skin stay rejuvenated, glowy, and just youthful looking. You know what I'm saying? And this mask also does help with calming the skin so when my skin is very irritated or dry and dull looking this helps really bounce back my skin making it look so glowy and just so bomb so bomb and i'm about to show y'all real quick so i'm gonna apply this right now the consistency of this mask is very thin and like i said it does have two main ingredients in here that i do love in my daily skincare routine so basically when i use this mask i literally just wash my face apply this mask and go to sleep basically one and done and that's what i like about this mask because it has so many great ingredients in here y'all i'm telling you y'all are about to see this magic happen once i apply this okay so we're gonna apply it my i don't have anything on my face so i'm just gonna apply a thin layer all over girl look it it's already making me look glowy on its own. Just gonna apply it on the forehead. And like I said, this helps me keep that glowy, youthful, hydrated looking skin that I want. Especially in the summertime, girl, because in the summertime, I just don't like wearing makeup. I don't like wearing makeup, honestly. It's too hot. And I live in Atlanta, so my skin has to be on point. And girl, I'm like running low on this, but it does last a long time. But girl, I be using this, this is like my secret weapon. Especially when I'm lazy and don't want to do my nighttime skincare routine. I just plop this on, one and done, like I said, wash your face, and I'm good to go. Once you apply this mask and wake up, Girl, your skin is going to look so good, I'm telling you. And then next, I'm going to apply this eye cream. Girl, you're never too young to start treating your under eye bags. 
ice circles or anything like that. I've been using an eye cream for since I was like 18. That's why my under eyes look so good. And this one does have a Matrixel 3000 in it, which is gonna help keep your under eyes looking so plump because that's what baggy eyes are because the plumpness of your under eyes go down, like the volume of your under eye goes down. That's why you get under eye bags. So this is gonna help keep it plump and nice and youthful looking. So I'm just gonna apply this as well. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna start from the outside and go in with my finger and then just go on the top. And I love how lightweight these products are. Like they're not heavy at all. I don't wanna go to sleep with anything heavy on my face, honestly. Cause I don't want anything to clog my pores. Y'all be able to get this overnight sleep mask and the under eye cream from Tammy Blends. All you need to do is click the links down below and then you can also get some money off by using Kyra 20. Yes, we love that. <laughs> So, so yeah, y'all, make sure y'all get y'all masks and make sure you maintain a healthy glow for the summertime by using that overnight sleep mask. So, so yeah, y'all, so we're going to get into the questions now. I'm so excited to be answering y'all questions because I just love talking y'all. I love spilling the tea on what's been happening, okay? But anyways, y'all, like I said, this is a sip and spill, so I'm going to wait a second so you can go get your little drink, girl. I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. I don't know why I'm drinking coffee at this time of night. I just want to drink coffee. Like, So I'm going to wait a second so you can go get your drink, girl. Because I want you to sit back, relax, and just let me talk to you about my BBL. So I'm going to wait for you. Girl, hurry up. Grab your drink. I'm giving you time. Okay, you got it, period. Okay, y'all, so y'all asked a lot of questions. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and see what they said at the bottom first and then work my way up. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first question. It says, are you happy with your results? Do you want more work done? Love you, girl. I love you too, boo. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie. I do want to get some J-Plasma just because I feel like I have a loose skin from the lipo, which I don't really like. I don't like that. Um, I know it's normal, but like, I want it tight. I want it tight and right, okay, period. So I am going to be looking into like a skin tightening or like J-Plasma or something like that. I am in the gym right now. I am in a gym, but the gym can only do so much, obviously. That's why I got to be BBL because it couldn't fix my dip hips. So I am probably going to look into doing that procedure. And also, um, you know, I'm in a gym. I already told him. Like I wanna keep, I wanna get my stomach tight. Hopefully in the gym, it'll make some progress. I see progress right now. I like, I like how my body is like um, toning up and stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I love my results. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very satisfied. I love my shape, me. And I love how my butt matches my thighs. Like I just love that. So, so yeah, I love my results. Would you do it again? Would you recommend it? highly recommend i recommend if you want to get a bbl get it done like do it for you don't do it because you see a, another girl on instagram like oh you want to look like that you should just want it genuinely for you you know what i'm saying so i definitely recommend if you want to do it but it just is a lot of maintenance after the fact just know it's a lot of maintenance to after for the aftercare for after um the bbl how long was your recovery? I feel like my recovery as far as me dealing with pain was a good, it was a good, like it was, it was just me being uncomfortable. I really wasn't even in pain. Like literally the first day um, I got out of the surgery, I was walking. Like I was walking, the nurses that took care of me was like, Car, do you wanna get up and walk? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like I was literally good. But as far as me being uncomfortable, girl, I feel like it doesn't stop. Right now, currently, I'm in my ab bar right now and my binder and my faja. And the faja is very uncomfortable. It's tight. Um, and so I feel like as far as like pain, I really wasn't just, I really wasn't in pain. The only thing that was painful 
was the massages and I feel like after you get all that extra fluid out of you um, is when you start to feel like okay um, so that lasted like a good two weeks because it was a little no it lasted like a good month for me to start feeling like I am not in pain when it comes to like getting massages so at least a month for massages after the first few weeks essential 100% because your massages definitely contour you and you really need to find a good massage person I'm sorry but some of these people don't know what they're doing and I'm so happy and blessed that I found a girl in the beginning in the beginning I found like a good massage lady back at home she was like she was teaching me all the proper techniques on how to properly compress like she was like you need to go get this that and a third so you can look how you want to so you can you know compress this so this can be down so you don't have to have um that extra fluid build up like she was just teaching me a lot of things obviously because i'm new to this um so yeah massages are definitely essential and finding a massage lady that knows what she's doing is even more essential so make sure you do your research before you even give any of these people your money because sometimes they don't even be knowing what they're doing and they don't really compress hard enough i feel like some massage people don't but um, was arm lipo worth it y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all arm lipo is the same thing as you know wanting to contour your body which is like wearing your fajas compressing and stuff like that just as much as you want to compress your your waist you need to compress your arms if you're gonna get arm lipo and that's kind of a mistake that I made. I got arm lipo. I loved it. It's definitely worth it. But I wasn't consistent as far as me keeping my, um, what is it called? Arm compressions on. I don't know why I wasn't consistent with it like I am with my stomach. It's just I don't want anything on my arms tight, which that is what I made a mistake. But I feel like it's worth it because i feel like if i had that extra fat on my arms that he didn't lipo out of me i would look crazy like i feel like i would look you know bulky so i feel like it was worth it in that area but if you are gonna get like arm lipo you need to compress like i need to start wearing my things like while i'm telling y'all i need to do it myself and make sure when you get arm lipo tell the, your massage lady so she doesn't skip that that's another thing too like i wasn't really focused on my arms i was really just focused on my stomach um so yeah i just need to make sessions on focusing more on my arms and my stomach if that makes sense <laughs> what made you choose the surgeon that you chose and who were you all considering so y'all i don't know if i told y'all this but 305 plastic surgery actually wrote me and this was in the process of me not even thinking I was gonna get surgery I was like considering it but then I was like mm, I can thug it out like I can still do my little hip pose and get away with it then I started getting tired of it Okay, anyways, like I was saying, sorry, my light went off. Yeah, they actually wrote me when I was, like, wanting to get the surgery, but I was looking at different doctors. I was looking at one in California, um, another one in Miami. I'm not even really sure remember these names. But, um, so, yeah, they hit me in a DM, and I looked at their doctors. They were trying to make me go to this other one, this other doctor, and he actually passed away. RIP to him. That's crazy. Um, I, for, I forgot the other doctor's name, but, um, oh my God. so I was looking at their doctors and I seen Dr. Williams and I was like, oh my God, like his work is very, very good. It's very consistent. Some of these doctors will shake these girls like this will be their body. This will be their stomach. And then this will be they, their hips. Like it wasn't flowing. It wasn't, it wasn't going good. So I found Dr. Williams and he made the body like contoured so bomb and i was like oh my god i want to go to him that's what made me go to dr williams because i like how he shaped the body i how i liked how he made the waist to flow with the the hips and it didn't look like crazy like it was just like plop on waist and then you know the hips i like how it, he made it made sense you know what i'm saying so that's why i chose dr williams his work is very consistent um, he doesn't do wish picks or anything like that. I just had a trust that he was going to make me look good. 
and he understood the assignment okay period that's what made me choose him because he knows how to shake the body he gonna tell you what it is and i really liked and respected that about him what do you love most about your transition girl that i got a big booty a big booty no, just playing. No, I really love that my hips just fell out my clothes. I'm more confident. Like, my clothes fit how they supposed to. My outfit looking good. I just love, like, feeling good. Once you look good and feel good, your confidence, like, nobody will be able to tell you nothing. I just love how my body looks now. Do you have any medical issues during or after your procedure? I don't have any medical issues, but the only issue that I have noticed is that when I sit down for a little bit, you know how sometimes you'll sit in a position where your legs start to get numb, but it's for like a long period of time and that's when your legs start to get numb. So right now I'm noticing that in a shorter amount of time, my legs are starting to get numb. I just feel like it's just the extra, the extra fat back there on like a nerve or something. Um, so I really need to watch that because I don't know that's like dangerous so yeah that's the only issue that I have noticed um I don't know if anybody else has that problem I haven't seen anything but that's just my experience personally um so yeah that's the only like after issue um is it heavy girl of course <sighs> no just get well i mean like i feel like it's just regular it just feels like my normal body it's just like but when i run upstairs i ain't gonna like it's like that thing bouncing back there did your stomach and back burn if so when did it stop yes absolutely it's from the lipo your stomach and back is very sensitive so after a while it starts to go away like i kind of still kind of feel it a little bit but it's slowly starting to sensitivity is starting to go away um but that's definitely normal i feel like it stopped um after a good six months like it's still very sensitive but it's still starting like i said i'm 10 months i can still kind of feel the burning sometimes when i press um in certain areas on my stomach so yeah my stomach is still lumpy some days two months supposed to stop yeah i still have like i mean if you feel like lumpy as far as like scar tissue um i have like scar tissue in my lower abdomen and it's kind of like a lumpy feeling at my lower ab just because of scar tissue and i'm still compressing till this day i still have my ab board on right now and my binder and i wear my faja so i feel like with compressing i guess it keeps going down and you're only two months so you're still early you're still fresh baby so keep compressing do what you have to do go get your massages tell your massage people like i said you need to find a good massage person and you need to tell them your problems so they can know how to massage you and make sure that you are recovering in the right way would you re recommend dr williams yeah i do recommend dr williams i really like him he definitely makes you look natural helps helps the you know waist and hips make sense and he doesn't make you look like an ant how much money would you recommend someone set aside just for post-op care girl you need to set aside at least 10k i'm not even gonna lie to you girl i was out of 3k the first day when i got to miami because okay if y'all have seen my bbl vlog me and my mom had got an airbnb but we did we thought it was like in a good neighborhood it looked a real cute on the airbnb girl when we got there that airbnb looked like the ghetto it was a broken down fence it was no grass like it was dirt um it was in little haiti and i don't i didn't know miami was that hood okay i didn't know it was like that so when we got there i come to find out we was in little haiti and mama was like no we cannot stay here and we i was out of my 3k for that airbnb i couldn't get my money back um he wouldn't give it to me with his dusty self so um i had to go get another i had to get a hotel um in brickle in a good area and i had to pay for that that was another 3k so that's six right there food 
um a thigh high if i needed it because you in the beginning stages you don't want to get a loose thigh high because you don't want fluids to build up so i had to pay for some extra thigh highs foams ab board um massages first aid stuff like just stuff like that i would definitely set aside 10k for real because you just never know what's gonna happen you just never know the situation so set aside 10k for sure do you think your bbl looks as good as in person as in pictures girl yes what of course of absolutely absolutely Ain't no catfish in these ways, okay? How long did it take for your butt to soften up? Girl, that takes a while. I'm just now starting to, um, my butt to like start softening up. It's still firm in some areas, but like my butt is still kind of fresh because some of these booties out here are kind of old and they like moving like water, okay? Mine's is not doing that, okay? It's a little jiggly, you know, I'm gonna show y'all in the end, but it still takes time, so um so i'm still seeing so but it starts to soften up probably at seven months i feel like seven months but i like how my booty was looking firm i ain't i ain't mind it Shoot. how long did you take off for work for the four or six weeks um i took a month off because i had covid before my surgery and then um after that i took a month off um from my job from my nine to five then after that i was like you know what i'm not going back to work i don't need to so that's how i quit my job because i'm like i don't need to go back to work like i don't want to i'm making way more like i'm out so i would definitely recommend recommend a month though um i would have took um at least a month and a half <laughs> Because, girl, it's just so uncomfortable. You and your thigh high, and you need to wear your ab board, and just, ugh. Like, ugh. Like, you don't want to get up. And then you have to wear your thigh high all day, and then you got to pee through the thing, and then sometimes the pee gets on a thigh high, and you, then you all around work smell like pee. Like, no. Month and a half, or a month. <laughs> Are you happy with your results and your regrets? I'm very much happy. I'm very much satisfied. I'm very happy. I love the way I look. Um, I just want my um, stomach to get tighter. You know what I'm saying? I just want it to get tighter. How much fat did you end up losing from your butt? I feel like I haven't lo lost any butt fat. Honestly, I just feel like I haven't. I feel like my butt was very consistent. Um, I measured at a 45 inch all around my waist i have to measure again to see if it's still consistent but visually i feel like i haven't lost any butt fat but measuring i haven't measured in a while but um after like two months i was still like consistently getting a 45 inch like all around is it hard to maintain the weight after surgery was it hard to change your diet absolutely absolutely girl so this was the mindset I was in with after surgery. Obviously, you need to eat healthy fats like avocados, turkey bacon, eggs, stuff like that, like stuff high in protein. So, girl, I was doing that. Like, I was doing good. Then I started to notice that my metabolism was, like, fast. Like, I was going to the bathroom, like, ASAP after I ate. So I'm like, mm, I can eat whatever I want. I don't care. So, girl, that caught up to me quick. So when you get in surgery, that's the only one thing that I regret that I started eating bad. And I should never did that because I gained weight. So obviously the weight is going to come back. Obviously getting surgery is not going to permanently help you keep weight off. So make sure after surgery, girl, you keep being consistent as far as your diet. Just eating healthy fats, salad stuff. Um yeah that's the only thing i regret is eating bad um and getting in that mindset and just ugh. and now i'm in a gym i'm having a little lifestyle change and i'm working with my trainer right now he is literally i told him i was like i don't want to look bulky i want to just slim down maintain my weight 
he doing his thing i'm seeing changes so we gonna stick to it and yeah we gonna do what it's up where's your faja from the girl the fajas i actually wear are actually from the girls that took care of me after surgery i'll link their um instagram in the description box below they have a faja company so make sure y'all check them out they have the fajas that have you know the um the the rods in it so it's like a corset which i like personally just because it makes you you know it shapes you so and then also on their fajas it's a bit more seamless so you can wear it under your um clothes and stuff i personally like wearing my fajas under my clothes sometimes um just to give me that snatch look especially if i'm like wearing a fire outfit and i want to take a fire fit i still wear my fajas with that and also I still wear my fajas on a daily with my ad board I have it on right now with my binder girl wearing your faja is so important and that's another question in, up in here it says how long do you have to wear your faja for I feel like people think that you have a limit to wearing your faja and it's not like that I feel like you're gonna wear your faja for the rest of your life probably until you don't care about how your body looks i feel like because your faja just keeps molding you and keeps shaping you so i feel like if you're very consistent with you wearing your fajas all the time your body is going to start to look how you want it to look without you having to wear your faja on it you know what i'm saying so there's really no limit to it because i remember asking my massage lady i was like how long do i have to wear this vibe and she was like girl until you want to look how you want to look like there's no limit to it and also i had to back off of it a little bit because i was very very consistent with wearing my fajas my binder and my ad board and it was kind of making a lump on my butt like a little heel and I was just like, no, I can't keep wearing it because I don't want that lump to stay there. So I kind of cooled off on it a little bit, like wearing it every single day. So I started to like, you know, limit to wearing my faja. So I like to wear it um, when I'm not doing anything, just lounging around the house or in the daytime when I just have sweats or anything on like that. But with my faja to this day, I don't wear it alone. I wear it with my ad board and my binder. So yeah there's literally no limit to how long you can wear your faja like you can wear it for the rest of your life like i know it's so uncomfortable to wear y'all in but wearing your faja is the key wearing your faja and the massages that's gonna really shape you would you go for round two or are you happy with them results because you look fire thank you boo and no i probably wouldn't do a round two of um inserting fat back there because i feel like it's enough i don't want to no i don't want to look like and my butt is a good size for me my little petite self i'm not tall i'm very short so on that that's another thing too like my weight catches up with me fast because i'm short and i don't want to look like i'm stuffed so i really have to maintain my weight because i don't want to look stuffed chunky or nothing like that so that's what really made me start going to the gym. Do you still swell? Yes, I do. Um, I don't know when the swelling is going to stop. It needs to stop. Because <laughs> I'm tired of it, honestly. I'm very tired of it. I don't know when this is going to stop. How long before you started to love your results? Um, I started loving my results, really. And then it's also, to back up that question, somebody asked, Hi, I'm four weeks. When did you start fluffing? I had a BBL with Dr. Williams, and it's not giving, LOL. So, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I wrote this man literally after the first week because I had dip hips. And I was like, um, sir, I don't see anything. Like, I was just like, what is going on? Like, I didn't see results like the first week. Um, I think, I don't know it's because of my size or something like that. But I didn't start seeing the results that I wanted until like after a month and a half. Because with the swelling um you don't see your shape so once you start compressing properly and going to your massages consistently you start seeing your shape and your body contour your waist is gonna go in and your hips are gonna flow out so that's when i started seeing my results and that's when i started loving my shape a month and a half girl i'm not gonna lie i was i, was, I literally cried i think when I, the first week i was like i don't like it like i don't like it what did i do but now I love it. So it's very, you have to be patient. You have to. 
you rave about your post-op nurses would you recommend your doctor i recommend my doctor and i recommend those girls because chastity um it's crazy because i didn't talk to her ever and we lived in the same um City. We were from the same state. Um, Chastity, the girl that is like the owner, co-owner, um, because it's two girls. So her knowledge and because me and my mom didn't know what we was doing. My mom never went through any type of helping somebody recover through surgery like this. I never been through surgery like this. So I didn't know what to expect. So having somebody that knows what they're doing and knows like the recovery process of like a bbl and what to do like what to take i feel like it was necessary to have because it just made it 10 times easier for my mom because you know she was stressed out she was already stressed about where we were staying and just like having somebody there to help you know give knowledge on what is happening um it just made the experience so much easier and just not as stressful you know what i'm saying so i do recommend getting some recovery nurses i recommend the girls that i had they're so helpful so nice i love them very caring and yeah so i definitely recommend using a recovery nurse because it's very essential i'm telling you i'm telling you it makes the experience 10 times easier um so my incisions are so ugly like uh, let me show y'all they're so ugly i hate them so if y'all can see so this is one how my incisions look on my back they're so ugly they're keloids i don't like how this looks it's just like a lump so i need to go to an injector or something to flatten it out and like get it faded or something because I don't like that. My trainer, he gonna say to me, he was like, what is that mark? Um, A lot of the girls that come to me had that mark on their back and um, what is that? I was like, they had a BBL. <laughs> so I'm just like, ew, like, yeah. You can definitely tell somebody had a BBL from their marks on their back. Two, like on my upper back, and then in the middle, and then on my lower. I do want to look into getting those marks faded, but the ones in the front are fine. They're fading just fine. But the ones in the back, no. And I do want to add one more thing. Um, Somebody asked, would I get anything else done? Girl, I want to get my boobs done. I'm not going to lie. I want my homegirls to sit up and perky and cute. Because I don't like wearing a bra. I be free balling. I know y'all tired of seeing me without a bra. But I do want to get my boobs done. Like, <laughs> that might be next in the works. And I do want to look into my teeth. I don't want veneers. I want them to look just bright white. So I'm going to look into getting like a whitening treatment. I go to my dentist um, next week back at home. I love her. I'm going to ask her where can I go to get like a whitening, like white, like veneer white. So, but yeah, girl, I want to get my boobs done. I want to be out here looking cute, you know, with the girls sitting up. So, and I feel like I just deserve that. I don't want anything crazy. I don't want an implant or anything I don't think if I don't need to I just want them to sit up nice I guess I'm gonna have to get an implant but I just want them to look cute so so yeah that's um another procedure I want to get done but my camera is dying so I feel like I touch base on a lot of things so I am want to show y'all my body with my um Baja on and um my baja on my ad board and just show y'all like how my butt is looking right now so let me go put some leggings on and i'm gonna come right back this is how i look with my ad board on baja and yeah the girl who's looking sitting just right 10 months so like I said, she's still getting, she's still a little firm. Not gonna lie, but she's softening up 
slowly <laughs> but yeah this is how i look i love it hips galore even with the ab board in she's looking real good and i'm just trying to maintain my weight especially when exercising and stuff like that so i'm very much happy with my results like i said i love how he shaped me i love my shape with time my waist is gonna keep shrinking so i'm gonna keep wearing my faja and my ab board and you know working out so so yeah. that's what she looking like she cute she cute <laughs> all right girls so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this q a bbl edition sip and spill so if you want to you know let's continue this series let me know what topics y'all want me to talk about list them down below and yeah y'all and then also do not forget to check out the Tammy blends overnight mask and the eye cream y'all look at my skin when i wake up glow period okay i'm just so happy i just love this mask y'all but anyways i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all next video what the fuck do I